in that moment it was awkward and it, there was a thought of like would they really not give me my PhD because I don't know this? There is a really common belief that if you are a PhD and you are an expert in your field, you should know everything. And you really shouldn't say, I don't know, or if you do, then that's a sign that like, maybe you don't know your field as well, maybe you're not really an expert. And I think this hurts so many scientists, this belief hurts so many scientists and researchers because it makes them incredibly inefficient with their time and it makes them very nervous to take the steps that is going to make them a great researcher. So I'm here to tell you today a story about how literally in my defense, I was asked a question. I said, I don't know, and I still got my PhD that day. So if you are struggling with this, hopefully this story helps you become a little bit more confident and a little bit more willing to say, I don't know when it is appropriate. So in my defense, um, I did my work in bioanalytical chemistry and I was presenting on research and one of my advisors was an organic chemistry professor. I was explaining the structure and why it performed this way within the specific instrument we were using. This one organic chemistry professor asked me a question and he asked me what the bond energy was of a specific bond within this molecule. Organic chemistry, it's really common for you to sit there and memorize a table of bond energies and know exactly what the bond energy of is of all these different types of bonds so that you know when they would break and all of this stuff. Bioanalytical chemistry, that's not common at all. Like it, that's not something that we look at. Um, if we need to know it, we'll look it up and then we'll, you know, do our calculations based off that. So my answer in that moment was, I don't know. I had no idea. I couldn't tell you units. I couldn't tell you a guess. I had no idea. And so the there was this awkward silence in which I didn't say anything because I honestly knew I didn't know the answer. The professor then goes, oh, well, you can give it to me and kill a jewels, kill a cows. You can choose which, which unit you want to give it to me. And I said, I, I don't know. Like, I didn't know those were the units. And I sat in the silence and it was awkward. But after the silence, another professor spoke up and said, we don't actually expect her to know that. And then the organic professor basically said, oh, well, the bond energy of that is this. And because of this, what do you think would happen? And I could answer that part. I knew the point he was trying to get at because I understood my field. I understood how molecules act, but I didn't know this one thing that I needed to memorize. Because of that, I could say, oh, well, this would most likely um, be able to freely break. And so you're going to get these different formations of this one molecule within the gas phase. That's ultimately the point we were trying to get at. And once we got past the fact that I didn't know the bond energy, I could still logic my way through the question being asked. And so there are things that I see a lot of times and I saw my lab mates sitting there trying to memorize things for these oral exams, things that like just weren't ever going to be helpful to them in their research because they were scared they were going to be asked a question on it. And ultimately, even when I got asked a question on it, it was fine because it was understandable that I, that is not key to my specific research area. And if I had needed to include that in a research article, I could have easily went and looked it up. I know how to look it up and I can explain and logic through. I think if I had not known the bond energy, but then not even known how to apply the knowledge for the bond energy, it would have been much more of a question. But the thing is, is I knew how to apply the knowledge and that's what's most important is do you know understand the fundamental science not always can you memorize everything now with that if there is something that is clear that people consistently tell you to memorize in your field while you're doing your dissertation or PhD or master's memorize it like it's just going to make it easier on you but I wouldn't go out constantly memorizing all these random tables um, of things that you could be asked just because you're worried that you might be asked it. I feel like being able to say I don't know can be very empowering and sometimes you get asked questions and there literally isn't an answer yet. This is why we do research because we haven't answered all the questions yet. I think people will try and come up with something or try and finagle their way through answering a question instead of just being like, I don't know, I will go look that up or see if there's anything on it. Or that could be a really cool research question to investigate in the future. Any of these things could be really good ideas in order to be able to move forward. And 
it always starts from being able to have the confidence in yourself to know that you don't know everything and that it's okay that you don't know everything. And so if you want to be efficient within your research, I would encourage you to embrace the fact that you don't know everything and that the fact that you can do things and interpret results and develop research studies is far more important than the fact that you can memorize a bunch of tables. Especially if you're a researcher, if you're in graduate school, a research graduate school, learning those research skills and applying them over and over and over again is going to be far better for your um, career path than knowing random tables of values or random information that's really easy to look up unless that information is really, really important to your specific sub area. So I hope that this is helpful. And if you're just getting started on your research journey, download my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's just a guide that walks you through step by step how to develop those different skills that you need to get your project up and off the ground.